Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to do displacement the correct way. Um, very straightforward using basically the modeling mode. So sweet, we can get started. Okay, so first things first, you want to go to Quixel Bridge, mainly because you're going to need a surface to displace. So click on services and you can pretty much go through any of these options. Um, all of them should work. So yeah, there's a brick one. I would probably suggest something like this so you can see it the most. Uh, just click on it and then you can click download once you sign in and it should pop up in your project. I, however, already have a surface downloaded. So I'm just gonna go over to that and bring that into my project. Cool, so now that that is downloaded, uh, we can go over to the top left and enter modeling mode. Once we do that, click the rectangle, and I usually change this to 200, 200 width and depth, which you'll see on the top right left hand corner. Um, and then I'm gonna actually bring in two of these. So one can be just the normal surface attached, and then the other one can will have the displacement shown so you can see the difference. Uh, so cool, so just click accept, and now you have both made. Once you have both made, click on one and go to remesh. Click on the very top, the target, and count and change that to 1 million. Um, if it takes a while to accept, just take your time. It's just trying to measure it out. Then click accept. Cool, so now you can bring up the actual material, drag and drop it. Um, I'm gonna drag and drop it on both. One will be displaced, the other won't be. Um, let's just get these even real quick, cool. Awesome. Now you're going to go over to the Displace tool. It will be in the Deform section. There you go. Displace. Once you click on the Displace, you're going to see it happen immediately. It's usually set to Perlin Map, so make sure the top left-hand corner is switched to Texture 3D. And then you can play with the channels to make sure you like the look. Um, sometimes certain channels are a little too strong. Uh, they're all doing different things. If you actually click on the displacement map, it'll show you. So play around with it, make sure it's doing what you want. This is more of a gravel look um, since that's the way that map is set up. Um, so I'm gonna change it over to blue. And blue looks a little more realistic for what I'm going for. So I'm gonna move forward with blue. So if you can see, what it's doing is it's basically showing a height map of the actual material. So instead of it being flat, it's actually giving some depth to the actual flat surface. And then right here, you can change the intensity. Um, so this is 15, bring it down to one. So you can kind of see how much it changes. So you can kind of dial in the, the strength of the height map or displacement. Cool, so this is 20. Usually when you see like these high cliff edges on these rocks, that means you've kind of gone too far. Um, if it's from a distance, it actually looks pretty good. So it's all really relative to what you're working on. I'm gonna go with 10 though and click accept. Once you click accept, uh, you are 90% of the way there. Um, so if you can see, the right hand corner is definitely flat. The left hand corner has a lot more texture to it, which is why we like it. And you cannot even see how it's kind of sticking out over the other material. So yeah, this is how you displace. Um, if you want to be able to use this more effectively uh, there's one last thing you can do to make sure it works well so go down to the simplify option in the mesh ops and just change that target percentage down 20 25 percent basically what this is going to do is remesh it so it's not so intense because uh, um, one million is kind of a lot and then you can actually click onto the static mesh itself and enable nanite so go up to the search bar click Nanite and then do enable Nanite support. So now if you want to use this over multiple instances, it won't bog down your computer as much. Click apply changes and save and you should be set. Sweet, so that's how you set up a displacement map. Um, try to hit this under five minutes. I think I did a good job on that. So um, yeah, like, subscribe and uh, hope this helps guys.